today's video, I am doing a different style video, so you guys have to let me know if you guys like this type. But I got a PR package here. Beauty bloggers get PR packages from companies. They send us their new products for us to try, and if we like them, review. So this is a box that I received recently from Wet n Wild. I don't know if these are new products necessarily. There's a lot of stuff in here. And yeah, so I wanted to just like play with the makeup and then tell you guys my first impressions, thoughts. Uh, again, like I said, I don't necessarily know what's in here. All that kind of like nonsense, but yeah, I'm clearly a professional. Am I focused? I hope I'm focused. Okay, so I'm gonna play with this. This is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Universal Stencil Kit. Okay, I don't know. Ugh. <sighs> Dang it! <laughs> Ooh, uh, there are some stencils in here. <laughs> maybe I should go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit closer. Uh, okay, maybe not. That one looks kind of close. That one looks closer. Wow, these all look like they fit my eyebrow. Okay, I'm just gonna go with this one. I don't even know what number this is because these aren't numbered. <laughs> Take my little spoolie. La 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 la. <laughs> I don't know. I can't see what I'm doing because I don't have a mirror in front of me. The only mirror I have is a handheld mirror, so I'm kind of winging it. That's what stencils are for, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can actually see they have like a little divot here. You can actually see in my eyebrow where that stopped. Alrighty. That was fun. Okay, so this is what I'm really excited about. Um, they sent me this, the Eau Naturelle in Nude Awakening. <laughs> um, and I've never actually tried uh, Wet n Wild eyeshadows and I've heard a lot of really good stuff about them. So, get this thing open. take some of this guy here, number two, and I'm gonna put it, can you guys see, on my inner corner. Not gonna lie, these are a little bit fallouty, but how much could this thing be? Less than eight bucks? I'm gonna guess six bucks. I'm gonna put it on the screen here if I'm correct, but I mean, they're pretty dang affordable. So if you're balling on a budget, you could be balling with wet and wild. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this number, what number is this, six? And then, because I'm obsessed with these kind of colors, I'm gonna take this number seven color, which is that really pretty matte plum color, and then put that on my inner third. Inner third, outer third. Okay, so that's what I have come up with, if you guys can see that. Oh, I'm out of frame. <laughs> I definitely like other eyeshadows better than these, but like I said, they're super affordable, so you're on a budget you could definitely make them look cute um so they sent me this liner this is the mega liner liquid eyeliner in the shade electric purple this is a new formula if you can see that little pink sticker there I'm gonna use this to line my eyes obviously and we'll see how this goes this might be a really random makeup look because I'm literally just trying to try everything they, or not everything, but most of the stuff they sent me. And possibly, actually most likely, these will not be coordinating shades, but we gonna go with it. Wow, can you guys see how pretty that is? It's really pretty, the color. Definitely watery, kinda hard to work with. If you are just looking for purple eyeliner to use like every once in a while, this ain't bad. Okay, what's next? Mascara. Never tried a Wet n Wild. Actually, I haven't tried a lot of Wet n Wild makeup, so this is kind of fun for me as well. This is the Wet n Wild, what is this? Nourishes Lashes? Oh, Mega Protein <laughs> Mascara. <laughs> it's not called Nourishes Lashes. I guess that's just what it does. But this is Soy Protein Fortify, so evidently it's supposed to make my eyelashes nice and strong. That's what it looks like. 
with one coat if you guys can see that. So the mascara is a little bit of a mist for me. I like super volumizing, thick mascara. This just ain't doing it. Alrighty, what can I use next? I wanna use this really bad. <laughs> this is not my shade. This is their new foundation, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. This is in the shade Nude Ivory. I am pretty sure I'm like positive I'm not Nude Ivory, but because this is the shade they sent me, this is the shade I'm gonna use. <laughs> well, they do have bronzer I think they sent me, so maybe I just need a little bit of bronzer to warm this color up. What's this? Ooh, concealer, which probably isn't my shade either, but we gonna, oh yeah, it's definitely not. It's in light ivory, so this might even be lighter than the foundation I have on right now. Well, <laughs> definitely not my color either. <laughs> I definitely made this situation worse, and I'm probably gonna make it even worse by adding some of this powder on. This is the Photo Focus Pressed Powder, and I'm wearing the shade Neutral Buff. Ugh, I don't like this powder. None of it is like picking up onto my brush. You guys see this? I'm like grinding my brush into it. It's not really getting anything on it. I'd say out of all the photo focus stuff I just tried, the concealer is the best. The concealer actually had decent coverage, just was clearly not my shade. The foundation was a little bit light as far as coverage goes. I like something that has a little bit more coverage. Ooh, I know what I want to try. This! This is their contour stick. Ah, get off my arm. <laughs> Mega Glow Makeup Stick and Contour in Where's Walnut? Oh, that's a cute name, I like that. Good job, Wet n Wild, that's clever. Okay, and then let me just grab a brushy brush. Not bad, actually. I was thinking this is gonna be super orange because I've definitely tried Wet n Wild, like, bronzing products before and they've been a little orange. This one's not too orange. I mean, it's definitely not like a cool bronzer, but it's not necessarily orange. <laughs> I'm just basically <laughs> putting this contour of all over my face so I can kind of darken that foundation up. This is also another stick. I hope this has as clever of a name. This is the blush makeup, the Mega Glow Makeup Stick Blush in the shade. Hustle and Glow. Not as good as Where's Walnut. I don't know why I got so amused by that, but. Ooh. These don't smell very good, actually. <laughs> there we go. Foundation looks a lot better now with a little color to my face. Okay, hot out of time. They sent me this, which looks super pretty. This is their Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, and this is in the shade Crown of My Canopy. What? Crown of My Canopy. I don't get it. Yep, yeah, don't get it. <laughs> don't care. <laughs> Doesn't that look nice? Oh, hello. <laughs> now these look fun. These are the first gel lip liner. And I have the shade Think Flamingos. Oh, they gave me two. I don't think they meant to do that. Oops. Oh well. It's just not a good color for me. Okay, well, well looks like I had like some Pepto Bismol lipstick, but maybe I can I can salvage this with this lipstick. What's this called? Oh, I'm sorry, this is a gel lip balm and this is in the shade Love. Didn't really try with that name. It glides right on, it's super slick. <laughs> I don't like smell this either. So uh, this is what I came up with, guys. <laughs> what do we think? Let me get up and close and personal so you guys can see. Ooh, actually, it's, it's not that bad. Not that bad. I'm kind of digging my eye look. My cheeks look pretty good. I think it's the foundation. It's kind of throwing stuff off, but. Hmm. 
All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this type of video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to do more of these types of videos where I take a PR box, unbox it, try on the makeup, give you guys the first impressions, and yeah. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy, and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.